Caitlin, you couldn't let Peyton Sanford even have like 24 hours of triple-double glory. Now, what was it like for you to just be in a zone from the first 15 seconds? Yeah, it was nice to see a couple shots go down early. Obviously, the last two games, I kind of haven't really shot too great from three. And um, I don't know. I thought we were just played free and like had a lot of fun tonight across the board for our team. And that was really great to see. I think Kylie's been shooting the ball great. It was good to see Gabby kind of get back to herself a little bit and shoot it, shoot it well. Taylor came in and played really well. Um, and that's just Iowa basketball, high assists on low turnover numbers. And um, I thought we really pushed in transition. And it felt like they were compacting the paint a lot. So they were giving up outside shots. And you know we shot the ball well, which is kind of what we had to do. Gabby, you always get the toughest defensive assignment. How is it to pair that with a really great offensive performance tonight? Yeah, you know, I think going in, one of my main focuses every game is to limit the best players touches, points, whatever it may be. I know it might not limit to them to zero points, but I'm going to make it tough for them every every game. So I think that's one of my biggest focuses. But when you compare that with making shots and seeing a few go in, I think it just builds your confidence even more going into the next game as well. Kaylin, what is it like traveling on the road and being at an away game, yet it feeling like a home, home game? It's nice. It helps us out a little bit. Um, you know, our fans travel really well. They have traveled really well all year. and. Um, you know, hopefully that continues to be the same going forward, but it's cool just to see the impact that we've had across the country, whether we're in Charlotte, whether we're in, on the East Coast at Maryland and uh, Rutgers, it's always been the same. There's always been so many people cheering for us, and we've played on some true road environments too, but a lot of times there are still a lot of Hawk fans there, so um, it, it's really special. It never gets old, but I think our, our group does a really good job of staying grounded and staying in the moment and just leaning into one another. Yeah, Caitlin, I had a chance to talk to Lynette yesterday. Mm -hmm. She said if she had a chance to talk to you, she wouldn't tell me what she would tell you because she said it would be private <laughs> because she would understand mm -hmm. because she's doing, you know, what I did. I wonder what that means to you, this particular record, um, because of the history that's involved. Yeah, I think it's super cool. Like Coach Bluter said, it's like, you know, the NCAA didn't want to recognize women and what they did um, back in the 1980s. Um, and, you know, I think it just speaks to the foundation that these players have laid for us to have opportunities to be able to play in environments environments like this and in front of crowds like this. Um, so I wouldn't have the opportunity to be able to do what I'm doing every single night if it wasn't for people like her. And um, obviously there's so many great players across the board. So um, I'm just really thankful and grateful to have those people that have come before me. Um, and yeah, it's, it's super special. Um, you know, obviously she's one of the best all times, could certainly score the ball. Um, but I think it just shows, you know, Title IX is not that long ago. 50 years is not that long ago. Um, and I think it just still shows the room that we have to improve and um, where women's sports is, is going is a really great place. Okay, well, a couple other records that you broke tonight, uh, Big Ten uh, career three-pointers and single-season NCAA three-pointers mm -hmm. passed tonight as well. Is either just your initial thoughts or is that the part of your game that you maybe enjoy the most? I mean, you <laughs> seem to really enjoy pulling up for those deep ones. Is that what you enjoy the most of your game? That's tough, honestly. I think I take a lot of pride in being able to do a lot of different things for my team, and I thought I did that really well tonight. You know, I love passing the ball and setting my teammates up for success, and I think that more than anything is going to let us have a lot of success in March. And, um, you know, I, it can't just be me all the time. And I think my teammates have been tremendous over the past two games, and um, we're going to need that going forward. So I'm really proud of them. I'm really happy for them because they put in a lot of time. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are cool. Obviously, I would have never known unless you told me, but um, I think I take pride in every single part of my game. And, you know, I always want to be great in every single area, every single time I step on the floor. Hey, Gabby, um, <clears throat> did you feel like this game, this type of game was coming for you? Or, and, and were you kind of waiting, waiting and waiting for it to happen? And how does it feel now that you've had, you got four threes out of four or five, right? It's about four or five threes. You know, it's funny because two days ago I was talking to Coach Raina and she was like, you have to just like manifest yourself making threes. And Coach Booter talks about it all the time. Um, and I haven't really like done that all that much, but like before this game I've told myself like I'm going to do it and I just like laid there and manifest myself and walked, like mm -hmm. see, saw myself making threes and it's just crazy. It actually works. <laughs> and I didn't start doing that before every game, like just taking time for myself and just you know, just building up my own confidence. Coach, you had, uh, I think, four or five subs ready to come into the game. Was that her last opportunity to, to get the record before we were going to take her out? No, I was going to let her get the record. <laughs> uh, we just changed who she was going in for at that point. We were going in for Yeah. I just want to expand a little bit. I mean, you, you were around with the AAW was running things, and it's what's strange is that the NCAA, I think, does acknowledge coaching records right. from that area, but not yeah. scoring. 
What do you sus suspect is behind that decision? I mean, ignorance. You know, I mean, why would you not recognize the women that played in the 70s and 80s? They got it all started. They were the foundation for what we're doing right now. And to me, it makes no sense. But maybe, maybe the NCAA will realize that now. Maybe it'll be brought to their attention and they will start recognizing those women that played in the 70s. And remember, they played with a larger basketball and no three-point line either. Last one here. Caitlin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. Bailey and try to sneak in too. Yeah. One being, you mentioned the pride in doing a lot of things. I think this is your 17th triple double. I always won every game in which you've had a triple double. So I wonder if you could talk about that. Maybe I should do that, that every single night. Um, <laughs> if you talk, okay. just talk about the triple double. And then also, obviously, Pete's record would be the next one. And um, you, you've mentioned people have called you ponytail Pete before. But what are your, what are your thoughts about them as that, that Nets record comes up? Yeah, I think, first of all, I think being able to do a lot of different things, like. I think even the rebounding part, like when I can get on the defensive glass and push, push in transition, that's when we're really good. And that honestly leads to a lot of my assists too and a lot of my points, uh, scoring in transition, getting my teammates open in transition. So I think that just is when we're at our best. And then um, obviously Pete's record's getting closer and closer. And that's somebody that I vividly remember even people in high school coming up to me and talking about Pete and like being like, you need to watch him on YouTube and certain things like that. So it's super special. Um, you know, closing in on that, and you know, I my first goal is you know focusing on Ohio, Ohio State and beating them. But um, it's super special just to be in the same realm of a lot of these really talented players that have done a lot of really great things for, you know, not just men's basketball or just women's basketball, but just basketball in general. Thanks, guys.